Hey Kaiju Collectors, it's Thomas here and today we have a quick review and this time it is a 1998 Godzilla, otherwise known as Zilla. And this one right here is a custom 3D printed figure of this infamous beast and it was done by a company called Nine Modelism and they were on Instagram, I'm not sure if they're still on there and they may have also have a page on Facebook somewhere and I believe the individual who, who ran that company posted some sample images of one that he made and it was completed painted built and it was next to another godzilla maybe an x plus godzilla and also had a nice background so it looked really looked really nice and he said that he would have some available for pre-order soon so naturally i was curious i think others were commenting and saying hey you know when can we get one and i think during our communication I may have invited him to our group, which is Kaiju Collectors on Facebook, and he shares the images there. And this was, I forget the timeline exactly, I think it was pre, you know, pre-pandemic. So at that time, yeah, so it was a, it was a better situation back then, you know. Um, so eventually he did say that he was taking pre-orders, so I did, and I, I'm sure others did too. And it looked like this was actually going to happen. It looks like he was going to make it and send it to us, but along the way, communication started breaking down but I was still hopeful because he was still communicating it wasn't completely gone at that point but he did send some out I believe in his neighboring country you know he's from Thailand right so he sent it to his around where he's at he said those were okay those shipped okay he was concerned because this you know it's been out of resin material so he says you know I'm a little bit worried because it's gonna be a big box and based looking at this it is a long figure so he said just just hang on a little bit. I'm going to try to send one to the States and see how it goes. So I think he did, but they arrived, I think, broken. So he said, you know, I got to find some other way to ship this thing, maybe change the packaging. So I said, okay, that's fine. Just let me know when. But he says, you know, it's going to happen soon. And then I got a message to say, hey, I'm going to be shipping next month and whatever month that was. So I was excited. So I believe uh, when I pre-ordered this, I... You could pay full or half, whatever. And so what, what I did was I gave a deposit. And he says, so I said, once it was completed, I would send the rest of the payment, which which what I did. And he told me, okay, so it's done. And next thing, next, next step is shipping. So let me let me check on the shipping and you know I'll get back to you. And that's when the problem began because he, I lost contact. The guy just never answered my, my messages or anything. Yet he was still online. So he didn't block me, so I just I just I was kept was kept waiting, being hopeful. But eventually, months and months went by, and people were just complaining. And I realized, you know, we were not gonna get this. He just you know disappeared, and to this day, the guy has not has not fulfilled his agreement with a lot of people. They're still waiting. They're still waiting for this. And I believe he also did some replacement heads for Kong, and I think he's done some other cool looking dinosaurs and stuff like that. So it's it's a shame the guy had a promising possible future because you know if this if this was a, su a success i think it would have just made him much more popular among the kaiju groups and i think he would have been on his way but now instead it's just utter disaster and now his reputation is completely destroyed and you know without going much further i would say don't buy anything from nine modelism i wouldn't trust him at this point i mean he has yet to come forward and, and apologize because i think most most people would be understanding you know pandemic whatever, you know, because I know things were shut down all over the place, including Thailand where he was. So, you know, the pandemic came and started messing things up. But still, you should still communicate, especially if you're concerned about your business and future business. So, um, so anyways, that's that's the basic story. Uh, one, one further thing is, you know, I was trying to get a refund through PayPal, but because there was such a long duration of time, I think it was over six months, and I said, I said, you know, I think it was maybe like eight months, nine months. They said, no, we, you know, we can't do anything. I was like, I was so disappointed. So what's the, what's the use of goods and services if after six months, I mean, especially with, with pre-order stuff. So you, you just guys, you guys, you guys gotta be careful when you guys do that because just be aware of that six month window. If your product hasn't come yet, maybe you want to get get your refund or something because it's a, it's a, it's a real drag. And I had another, I think side by side, uh, potential scam going on with me with eBay, someone sent me something supposedly but it was sent to florida so they, they did something crazy with their address i figured it out and and somehow i was i was able to get a refund or credit through my credit card company but i don't think i was able to get a refund for this guy 
I don't think so. I mean, I was just so busy as well. So just be careful when you guys order things from overseas. You know, you guys, you guys gotta do your research. I thought I did, and I got burned yet again. So before I, before we continue on, you know, this one here did arrive, but I got this from a friend. So he was able to 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 secure one of these. It did arrive damaged somewhat. I think he did some repair or something on the tail here. And when he when he shipped it to me, it it was damaged again. But um, but but fortunately, this this guy is you know pretty strong yet kind of fragile. I know that doesn't make sense, but the pieces don't just shatter. So you you know you're able to put it back together. And you know, if you do, if you have any kind of skills with some uh, putty or epoxy and painting, I mean it's really negligible, I guess. So it really depends if you're really particular. But most of this stuff is kind of in pieces and put together anyway. So I look at it that way. So let's take this guy outside. Take a look at these uh, pretty cool paint and detail, and we'll do some comparisons. And let's do that right now. Okay, for comparison number one, we have the X Plus 2019 Godzilla, and this is the standard version. This 2019 Godzilla actually has quite a bit of subtle coloration, and it's a real beautiful figure. For comparison number two, we have the X Plus Defo Real 1998 Godzilla, and there's also the, the Zilla Offspring. So that Defo Real right there is proof that X Plus can do a Zilla figure. They just haven't done a regular sized one yet. Hopefully in the future they will. I mean, check out the head sculpt on this Zilla on the left. It's outstanding. For comparisons three and four, we have a 1999 25 centimeter Gamera and you can see the plasma fist on that guy. And also on the right there, we have a Gauss Bandai figure, and that's a six incher. And for a bonus size comparison, we have the 25 centimeter Shin Godzilla, and this is a custom painted piece. Here's a shot of all the figures together. Okay guys, I'm back. I hope you guys liked my review so far of the 1998 Godzilla 3D printed by Nine Modelism. And if I got to give a basic score on this based on what I see, the details, colors, and just just the creation by his 3D printer, I have to give it high marks. I mean, I'm not an expert by any means, but it seemed like it's it was done really well. You know, sometimes I guess with 3D printer machines, they leave tons of these little fine little lines that you can tell because I guess it's going like this on the machine. But this one here, I don't really see it. 
So I'm not sure if his painting just covered it up, but I don't really see it. So in that regard, he did a really good job on it. So it's just, it's just unfortunate the guy disappeared from the face of the earth. I don't know where he is. Hopefully he's okay, but my goodness, he, he left a lot of angry kaiju collectors out there. So anyways, I, I think this is a pretty cool figure and it will stand in until Spiral Studios release their unbelievable Zilla and I'm sure other companies will will follow suit in the near future now now that now that the uh, they let we call it they opened up a can of worms with the uh, Spiral Studio so it's we're gonna see more Zilla I betcha so anyways I hope you guys liked my review please uh, like subscribe comment if you can and stay tuned for more I got a few more lined up and this one was one that I was waiting to get out for a little while so Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.